Names, Edgar Crumb. I was a bodyguard with nobody to guard. Down on my luck in dirty days, just waiting for some kind of kink in the monotony. Knowing that every daybreak I was sworn to that damn desk of dusty books and that brutal, silent telephone. And then, fame itself walked in the door. Betty Swan? Hello, Edgar Crumb. Hello, Betty Swan. I heard you're the guy who blends black into white and makes gray. Is that what they say? I'm in trouble, Edgar Crumb. Double trouble. Oh, yeah? What kind of trouble? I said double. There's a man. A bad man. There's always a man in the way. His name is Ronaldo Schmitz. He's a real sleazebag. He wants my head. I need you to protect me. Can you do that? All I could think about was that beautiful head. I wanted it too. It was full of horrid fog, Medusa mystique, midnight strolls along the riverbanks, the kind that end in a hot slap on the jaw, salty tears, and a riot of passion. Yeah, I've heard tell of this broad. She's a block in the road, attacking the hill. No good, but hell. I was down on my luck. I needed the cash. Yeah, I'll do it, Betty Swan. Meet me at the Weepy Pilgrims Theater tomorrow night. I have rehearsal there. You'll see what I do. You'll follow me and protect me. I'll be there. Kiss me like a cosmonauts and let the stars be our fate. This dame was really cooking with gas, a bona fide Betty, all right. In cahoots with some kind of Catwoman moxie, I'd only glance one winter Wednesday. When that comic book blew itself open across my boots at the train station, the day the rain hit so hard it bent the rails. She had class, and I was hooked, but I wasn't here to fall in love. Ronaldo Schmitz, a bag of scum. A sour sausage, a vacuum of morale. A sneaky weasel scandal monger with only one precious motivation to move his cause. His wife, Phyllis Schmitz, was angry and fueled by the bitter taste of revenge. When they were just schoolgirls, Phyllis and Betty were the best of friends, aspiring actresses who stole every stage until one fatal flick of the wrist. Phyllis's future in the spotlight was ruined. Fueled by anguish and despair, she agreed to marry Ronaldo on one condition, that he would destroy Betty Swan. Hello, Edgar Crumb. Hello, Betty Swan. I heard you were the gal who blends red into black and make something slightly lighter than black. Is that what they say? Ronaldo, he's here, isn't he? Yeah, he's here all right. Will you protect me? Of course I will. I need a, a, uh, I need a moment to change. I'll meet you outside the theater, out back in the alley. I'll be there. Give me the gun, you swatty numbskull.